I want to talk about police interceptors. What was that like? What were it like to be? Because you're 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 still the poster boy. You know, yeah. like if you're flicking through channels now and it's like police interceptors is coming on, it's you and you stood there. Yeah, you know, and you, baby you, bed, you're, it? yeah, you're so identifiable with the white streak in your hair, which people think you've died and yeah. it's not. So <laughs> I thought I thought that was died at first. I'm yeah. like, I'm, I like this look. It's a unique look. But, then, but Josh told me that it's not like a. a a decision, you know, it's just... Yeah, it's now I've got what's called Wardenberg syndrome, which is a gene deformity. Um, so I'm technically an albino family. So I'm like the, the most left part of the albino family. So you're meant to have like white eyes and, and flashes in your hair and that sort of thing. So yeah. It's distinguished, it's, it's, I like it's it. It's bizarre. Um, yeah, it, so I never wanted to do it. I've always had massive issues with my confidence. Um, and when you look back, I, I was technically poorly when we, when we were doing it. So I think that's half the reason why my confidence was shaken. But Baby Ben did it, who was my partner at work. And every time we filmed traffic cops as well, I'd be in office. I was like, no, because everyone recognised me for having a white streak. Yep. And every time I went somewhere into a pub, or like, I don't know what it's like for you, but every time I went into a pub or a restaurant or whatever, I'd be like, a pig, or you'd have to sit with your back to wall so you could see exit entrances and you, were, you never sat with your back to some people. Uh, there were certain places you just never go when you got in a taxi. So I always used to wear a cap every time I went out. Like, say you went with your mates and you got back into going to a taxi, I'd put my uh, hood up on, i put my cap on. So I just, oh, yeah, so is this where you live, officer? I didn't yeah, want any yeah. of that because I had it the other day. We got a Domino's. And as soon as we opened up, Domino's, I went, officer, oh, yeah. this is where you live. And I'm like, fuck. I, can you imagine? Like, and I'm it's, like, it's, like, it's like fucking witness protection. Like now, so many people, I think, know where I live. I keep saying, <laughs> I'm like, we've got to move. Yeah, like, yeah. All it takes is one of these psychos, yeah. one, of, one of these people to be a psycho. Yeah. And uh, in fact, well, we had the, the alarm went off like it, the other day, and I went uh, down with my dick swinging. <laughs> Lynn's was like, you know, the, the, the alarm goes off. She's like, Adam, someone's downstairs. Like, it, it, nobody was there. But I was like, she jumped out of bed. And she, I, I went and started to go down the stairs, and she's like, you know, I put some pants on. I'm like, they're going to be more terrified if I go down and I'm fucking nude. Can you imagine what they look like? Can you imagine what it looked like? Remember the original Crazy Frog when he had a little willy? <laughs> yeah. That's what you look like. <laughs> I'm blinked downstairs like a crazy frog. <laughs> But I, I, well, how do we get onto that? Um, yeah, oh, I, people I, know where you live. Yeah, I, I was yeah. about to say, like the whole public figure, public facing thing. Like I've said to you, like I, I don't, I wouldn't. I'd hate to be in your position. I'd hate to be in your position because you're recognised everywhere. But then for somebody to spot where you live, and yours is all right because you just uh, you just eat videos on eat videos on eat YouTube. Videos. Eat, yeah, you eat on YouTube. But being a police officer mm. and having potential criminals knowing where you yeah. live is like <sighs> yeah that's well that's that's what I, 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 but when you come out please rules and guidelines change because you don't worry about your job you just worry about protecting your family yeah where when you're in the job you worry about your job and being disciplined um so yeah so i went out with baby ben says oh like called james who are um really really cool lad from like cornwall that sort of area who's was in a like just just right chilled and he went come out mate he says, it's gonna be It'd be good. You'd have to speak. So Ben says, get in the car. I'll do all speaking. You just drive. So I did that. And then the first time you, you it's like this. You've got cameras around you in the car. You've got your little ba uh, battery pack with mic on. Uh, passenger's got a camera on his shoulder. And then James in back says, every time you hear a bleep bleep, it basically, you've seen something spin round. I'll just go. So cameras are rolling yeah. live in the car. And it took me about five minutes to get used to that. And then he was just breaking ice. And it just happened from there. And then I went out and he says, you're quite funny on camera, but what I was doing, you know, I was masking who I was. And then, but people seem to like my sense of humor and like me being quirky. And it just ballooned. It went, it went, it was the highest view program on channel five. Um, at the I time. had a neighbors. Oh, Good mate, Lord. Yeah. It was popular. Jason and, Jason, is it Daphne or whatever? Jason and Kylie? Kylie, that's it. Kylie. I, didn't, I didn't watch it back then. I watched it for yeah. a brief moment in time. You liar. <laughs> I don't watch it now. You liar. <laughs> they're they're going to cancel it, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, sorry. Go but on yeah, there. so I viewed on Channel 5, so, and it, it's shown literally worldwide. So it's it's on Bravo, Paramount Forces TV. It's on Channel 5, Channel 5 Catch Up. It's on iPlay or whatever, all yeah, these yeah. things. And it's shown on every single channel. You can go around the world. My, my family who live in Spain, they watch it in Spain. On So it's everywhere. And you didn't realise, so then as soon as it started getting aired, everything that we're getting from before, from the shits, it were positive. So yeah. you go out and rather than people shout pig, people coming up and just shaking your hand. And these were major wow. criminals. You were sat in the car, like doing speed checks, and all of a RS4 had pulled behind you. And a massive nominal, a nominal's basically a, a big, big shit boy. You know, get out of the car and someone you dealt with for major organised crime, drug running millions of pounds or whatever. They get out of the car and say, oh, Ben, all right, I just wanted to shake your hand. 
where before they'd have probably oh, dragged you to the floor and kick your hand because they see you then as a person. They don't see the uniform. They see you then as the person. And it just went on and on. And all we're getting were people, can I have your autograph? Can I have your photo? Uh, can you come here and do a bit of a meet and greet? Can you do... And it was just sending me like to this place where I've never known because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a copper. Yeah. I just do my job, but people seem to like it. We had a, a supercar meet in Shipley um, for Leeds Supercars and we got told 3,000 people turned up, but 2,000 turned up to meet me and Steve Suggett. And there was, there were my friends in this row of people that were 10 deep having to queue. But then my mates, I'm having a beer with you later oh, on yeah. in pub. But they were queuing just to have a photo. And we're about, You've got loads of photos of me. I've just gone Facebook and have a look. And yeah. oh, no, but I want to meet you. And like, you are me. You did. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a bizarre concept. And it just went from there and it skyrocketed and it just never stopped. Did you enjoy the the process of being on TV? Um, I, my kids watch it and they're like, oh, look, daddy's on TV. But do you like the, the, the act of being like filmed for a TV show? Do you like it? I fucking hate it. That's I, why I'm asking you. Right, all right. I don't mind because the only thing I don't mind is because it's out of my comfort zone and I like being pushed in a new... I think yeah. you can become stagnant in life. Yes, and it's I, new. Yeah, it's so much new, so I like that. So I've always wanted to have a... I did some acting before. Um, I did some stuff on Emmerdale and DCI Banks. The so, fuck out of town. You were on Emmerdale. Yeah, we're on Emmerdale. Yeah. I said we should get somebody on from Emmerdale. There we go, we've done it. I, I was aiming for like Eric Pollard, but... <laughs> I, tell <laughs> Zach, I tell Zach Dingle he's not coming on now. Um, so yeah, so I worked with all Emmerdale staff and first of all, I were a border agent and I did some police work and then I went to do other stuff, but we locked Mile on up and... <laughs> um, Paddy and all that, if you ever watch it, we locked all them up and we have a good crack with them you all. You should so have kept some fucking locked up, my one and Paddy. <laughs> I would, I would, I would, so it, it was just a really good time. So I thought, I, I wouldn't mind doing that. So if I've always said, if all this don't go like, and I, we don't do really, really well, which we will do, but I'm <laughs> saying if we don't, I want to try, and, I want to try and go into acting real. I don't mind having a camera thrust in my face. The only thing that I, I, I'm aware of is everyone's trying to pick fault. Yeah the bosses will sit there and review it. Yeah, yeah. And the bosses are like, right, if anyone says, oh, out of line, swearing, yeah. racial, homophobic, so-and-so, which you can't say anywhere. But if anyone gets the law wrong, if anyone gets the procedures wrong, yeah. if everyone talks in a derogatory term to a prisoner, you're thinking, fucking hell, I've just had a pursuit with this lad and he's kicking me in the face. Yeah, and under, I'm saying, you're under get a microscope. the fuck down. Yeah. And he's saying, why have you swore? You'd expect that. I mean, you'd expect yeah. in a high t- attention, a, yeah. attention riddled scenario, you would probably swear. Yeah. yeah. And but, then, um, um, and then public. So public hmm. are then on to you. And then it's like, have you seen this? You've done that. Oh. And what they do is, is like, they think this is a massive conspiracy. So Channel 5 will sit with bosses and they'll filter out all beatings, all Rodney King beatings that we do. You know, pulling people over and slapping them about and hanging them off edge of clips. That'll all get cut out and we'll only show the light out of this stuff. And I'm like, yeah. it doesn't work like that. If it's on the tape and we've fucked up. It's been signed and it's, been, it's going to be used. Yeah. yeah but yeah. if it's on the tape as well. I'm, and it, I'm disciplined straight yeah, away yeah. because don't forget, we've got body cameras on, mm-hmm. which are recording. In cars, got body, uh, is all our CCTV. And then as soon as we get in, involved in a pursuit, it logs on into the control room, police control room. Yeah. So you're sat there saying, yeah, police, uh, pursuit's authorised. Are uh, you wearing your tactical authorisation, code of practice, blah, blah. And their screen flashes up. So you can't be like, 130 miles an hour, and not screen 155. Yeah. It's safe to continue bodies flying over car. Ah, yeah, yeah. Because they're, they're all like, whoa, 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 a bar. And then first thing they'll do is, right, take his permit. So they're not like your best buddies. Yeah, yeah. They're literally like civilians. They're, they're keeping you honest. They're keeping yeah, you they're, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so they're in there. And the civilians that are running the TPAC guidelines, they're not bobbies. It'll yeah. go to another old bobby who's in control of firearm stuff. But for TPACs, it's a civilian. So, and they'll be like, right, report him, get him onto ISP or I saw PCC or whatever it is. So it's like, that's the pressure. Yeah, yeah. That's the, I've got to abide by it. Well, I will abide by it because that's my job. But that's what the pressure the, the is. scrutiny of it. And yeah. I imagine that um, c- compared to what you've done in television versus that, like he's just doing his job and somebody's almost like vlogging it. Whereas like y- if you're going on a step in on a set, it's like two worlds apart. It, yeah, I suppose I, I think I was getting, you, it, I, what I, well, one of the things I hear about is like, you know, people retaking, you've got a director and whatnot. Yeah. But I suppose if you're in pursuit of a criminal, I can't be like, wait, can you do that really cool turn again? Yeah. I can, I, I can confirm that Ben's never going to become an actor because I've watched him try and do a six second ad read for some sponsors <laughs> and fucking hell. Like, to say there's about four words in it. Can he bollocks get that out? It's, it's like 30 minutes to <laughs> like, second. S- silent cinema, maybe. And if that becomes I can, popular again. I, all you have to do is just say, if you're stadly coming here and lock beard up, I'd yeah. be like, all right then, yeah, so, right, Adam, and I could just do that, yeah, but if yeah. he said, right, can you do these three lines? Uh, no. No.